Welcome everyone, in this video we are going to calculate the value of acceleration due to gravity. It is represented with a small case g and it is approximately equal to 9.8 meters per second squared. In some problems you can see it as given 10 meters per second squared or it is sometimes given as 9.81 meters per second squared. They are all very close numbers and Actually, there isn't a single number for g because since the Earth is not a perfect sphere on its surface, uh, as you move along, the value of g will change and you will see why that happens in our calculation. So, I want to remind everyone the force of gravity formula that Newton uh, developed. This is Newton's formula for gravitation. It says that the force of gravity, and I am meaning the magnitude of it here without the arrow, is equal to g this is different than the acceleration due to gravity this is a capital g times mass of the first object and in this case this is going to be the mass of the earth that's why i capitalize it it's a huge mass times the mass of the other object which is uh, in this case any object it can be your mass it can be the mass of an apple it can be the mass of a pencil anything divided by the distance between them and this r is capitalized because it is a huge distance and in this case it is the radius of the earth now this is also equal to at the surface of the earth as we do uh, in our calculations this is equal to mg this is just the short way of writing it and when we put the little g here we mean that we are close to the surface of the earth such that we can use the distance as the radius of the earth all right so as you can see the factors of m then should be constant the small case m is what who i'm talking referring to so this gives us that g is equal to gm divided by r squared and already from this equation you can see why the value of the acceleration due to gravity is not constant on the surface of the earth because r is not constant for example when you're uh, near the equator for example the equatorial radius is a lot not a lot but the equatorial radius is greater than the radius at the poles at the south pole or, or at the north pole all right so radius is different for different points on the earth that's why the g values the gravitational acceleration values are also different but let's just calculate a basic a generic a value for g all right we should probably get something around 9 and 10 let's calculate some value all right as i said for specific cases you will need specific uh, results of g but most of the time it is enough to use it as 9.8 you know said let's get started so what is the capital g this is called the universal gravitation constant and its value is as follows 6.6 .6 and then 7, 4, 3 times 10 to the power of negative 11, of course, with the units meters cubed divided by kilograms and then seconds squared. And I, I access these, this value and the values that I'm about to use from Britannica's website, and I'm going to put the links for them. You can check them and have a read as well. They are really great articles. So for M, this is the, as I said, mass of the Earth. It is going to be 5.972 times 10 to the power of 24. A huge mass. This is in kilograms. And then we have our division. We put our value for the radius of the Earth. And the radius that I am using is the equatorial radius. Just to mention that. If we were to use the radius at the poles we would get a greater value for g because uh, there the radius is less than the equatorial radius and yeah this is 10 to the power of 6 meters and this is squared now if you com com compute if you compute this result which i did before the video so that we don't take time this turns out to be 9.797 999821 and let's cal calculate the <clears throat> let's calculate the units ourselves let's see 
We see that. Let's do it with gray maybe. Kilograms cancel. We see that this is a meter squared. It cancels with the cube here. So we are left with meters divided by seconds squared. We have meters per square seconds. So if we put it in two significant figures, this is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared. And as you can see, we in fact get a very close value to the uh, G, to the value of G that we often use in problems. I again want to emphasize that the value of G changes on the surface of the Earth from point to point because the radius changes. Earth is not a perfect sphere. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please write them in the comment section. I hope to see you in another video. Until then, take care.